Hey everyone, it's Mark with the DFW eSkate Alliance and I just want to come at you with a little uh, review on these View6 Blade Smart Glasses. I reached out to View6 a few months ago under MetroBoard to uh, see if we can test these out and see how they apply to the PEV community. So uh, before I start, full disclosure, View6 is not paying me or giving me actually bought them with my own money and under a 30 day trial I'm seeing what these are about. As far as MetroBoard, I am an ambassador for them. But uh, this is my own little project. It's just something that uh, I'm just researching them for myself. Okay, to start off, what are these glasses? These are smart glasses. They're for uh, basically what's called AR, augmented reality. And uh, advertised, if you look here, they're advertised as like basically a cell phone in your face. So if you look at this little light here, I'm looking at a little projected image that I can see right here as I'm looking into the camera basic function, functions such as you know time, date, it has some apps that can tell you how fast you're going, uh, has some navigation uh, apps, um, not like a not like a little mini map navigation but like a kind of like an instructional navigation thing that tells you when to turn and how far to go. It does have speakers on there, it does have a microphone that has noise cancellation on it. The battery life on this thing, with this alone it's about an hour if you're running it continuously but what I've recently learned is they have a little battery that sits around your neck, kind of like a collar, and that can run it up to about eight hours. I didn't get my hands on it to give it a try, but I know with these glasses alone, we're constantly running, it's gonna be about an hour long, okay? So that's basically what these glasses are. And also it does take uh, pictures. It can show pictures in the view right here, which if you look in my eye, there's a little square right there. That's what I'm looking at right now. There's a touch screen right here where I'm moving and picking different options right here. So that's basically just, just of these uh, smart glasses. I mean, they've kind of been around for a minute. Google Glass recently had uh, canceled one of their projects uh, for the Google Glass that's been around for like eight years. So smart glasses are not a new thing to the, uh, to the world. There's actually multiple companies doing them. The reason I'm doing this uh, video, the reason I'm reviewing this is because in the eSkate community, the PEV community, that tech is also growing. And with that growing tech, there's gonna be a lot of data going in and out. You got your Vestool app on your phone where you can program your, your board or uh, look at real-time data such as battery capacity, um, your range, the temperature of your vest, all that information. And uh, right now, there is one product that shows all that information. That's the DeVega heads-up display, which it's not really a heads-up display. It's a head-down display because it sticks on down to your board. So to look at all that information, you got to take your eyes off the pavement and look down, which if you're moving and riding at the same time, that's pretty dangerous. That's why I'm looking to different options of technology to see if any of this can be applied to the eSkate community. And I actually found that it would have a great impact. Unfortunately, these glasses aren't made for eSkate. Really, there's no glasses out there right now. I'm really just making this video just to bring awareness to these companies about this growing community. Now, these glasses, they ran about $800, but they come with a lot of features. I feel if you can knock that down maybe close to 300, take away some of the fancy little um, specs on here, that might be applicable. Like I said, it, it's not made for eSkate. One of the apps I used was just a little speedometer, and I'll show you what it looks like in the glasses here. It's, it just has a little, little uh, speedometer gauge on there, tells you how fast you're going in miles per hour, and I found that very useful when I was riding with it on. It was transparent enough for me to see through, so it wasn't too distracting, it didn't block my view. When I wanted to look at it, I just focused my eye to the uh, view plane that was on and I was able to see it and then just keep my heads up and uh, the pavement in my view. That in my opinion is a lot safer than looking at my cell phone or looking down at my DeVega because it's, it's, it's up there, it's right there. For the eSkate and PEV scene, the other information I would think y'all would need is navigation, like a turn-by-turn -turn navigation, like a mini map that's actually on the screen. These glasses do have an app that mirrors my phone. However, to mirror my phone, there would have to be a Wi-Fi connection. And unfortunately, you know, going across town, the Wi-Fi range ain't that far in my apartment. But when it did work, it, it was actually pretty fascinating to have. It's really nice to have just a little GPS map and the route plotted out that I can follow on there. So I found that very useful. 
but unfortunately with these glasses there's nothing wrong with these glasses like i said i did mainly to see how it would apply to the pev community and how it would work on eastgate and it worked very well however it's not catered to it i know that they've uh they advertise to the medical industry uh other industries which would work great i would like to see more of these companies reach out to the uh, eastgate community more because like i said it would have a positive impact on it so let's talk about some of the pros and cons about this thing here okay so the comp the pros you have the information right here right in in your field view like in your face you don't have to look down at your board, you don't have to look down at your phone. It's just all right there if you have it all set up right. In this case, it's just a speedometer, but as, as I said, if this takes off more in the PEV community, we could see it more of the information right for our eyes. And uh, that would, like I said, would make your ride a lot safer. Um, also, this thing does have speakers built in. It does have a noise, noise canceling mic. So if I was on Discord with some of my route leaders as we're doing a group ride, we could communicate in between each other through the Discord app and talk more. Also, it does have a built-in camera. If you want to take pictures, record, that's great too. Now, the cons that, one of the cons that I want to talk about is just the size of it. Now, I understand with, it, with this technology, it's not going to fit into something small. But, I mean, I had a hard time putting this in my helmet. So I have a triple eight half shell helmet, and uh, I, I I was able to slide it in pretty simply, but my, also my other helmet, the TSG Pass, I would not be able to get this on there. It would, it would break. It's not flexible enough, these things. I mean, it has the battery and a lot of tech inside of it, so it would break. The other con is this thing's $800. With all the features it has, it's a little bit overkill for what we would need in the PV scene. Uh, like I said, all I wanted was a heads-up display of the information, speed, my battery, my range, uh, communication with uh, some of my other people that, you know, when we're doing group rides. Another con to talk about is the material. It's like a hard plastic. It's good for if you're, you know, just wearing it and walking around, but, you know, if I were to fall and eat it pretty bad, I'm not sure what the condition of these glasses would be. Like, it would be questionable. So I haven't really seen any impact test, and like I said, with how this tech is kind of in its uh, infancy, I wouldn't expect it to really be able to take a beating. And, you know, if some of us are going like 20, 30 miles an hour and we eat it, you know, sometimes we eat it pretty hard, which is why we all wear gear. But that is pretty much how I feel about it. But like I said, what I would like to see as far as smart glasses and the Eastgate and PEV community is just being able to have an app developed to where we can see our real-time data from our boards because these are a lot of technical things that would be appreciated. All right, it's nice to know how fast we're going. It's nice to know how much battery is left in our boards. It's nice to see the temperature of our vests, you know, if we're programming it or we're just installing a new VESC. It's nice to see if it's overheating or not or if we have some sort of fault in the computer. That'd be a nice notification to have. Just all that. Maybe something a little slimmer. Uh, like I said, the battery for these, they do have a collar one, which I think is pretty cool. That'd be great. Anything to slim these down so I can fit it in my helmet. And then there are some that have transition lenses that would be useful for going in and out of the sun, you know, day and night riding. But, I mean, aside from that, that is, uh, that is something I hope to see in the future as far as these smart glasses. I'd like to one day see these more common on the streets as we're riding group rides. As far as these glasses, they're really cool. Uh, I appreciate V6 for uh, letting me try them out. Frank, uh, he did great uh, talking to me and telling me about these things. If y'all want to try these out, they do have a kind of a trial period, like a 30-day return period, as long as you don't beat these up in their returnable, resellable condition, you'll get your money back with 30 days. If you want to try it out, I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, you can uh, go out to the V6 website or you could uh, leave a comment and uh, tell us what you think. Thanks.